chug, 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 chug. This week's Drink of the Week segment is brought to you by a co-host answering their phone live on the podcast. Hey, it's my mother. I couldn't find a new button. I don't know where it's at. So I got to take that call. Listen, if we get the phone call on air, you got to do like Joe <laughs> Budden does. So this is Jason from the Dumb Marks Podcast. You're live on air. Do not say anything that will incriminate yourself. We're not putting this conversation on air. <laughs> All right, so this week's drink of the week, we have Ellicottville Brewing Company's Blueberry Wheat Ale. It is 4%, 4.8% alcohol by volume. It's a malt beverage brewed with blueberries. So um, not your strongest beer there. Uh, Donald, this was your suggestion and your pick. So we will see what we have here. Smell the blueberries. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting I'm not getting a whole lot. Is this the NWO breaking into the show? Keep <laughs> No, I'm not um, getting a, I'm not getting a whole lot either. I was expecting more out of this flavor wise. But to me, it's just like a nothing. Just drinking a beer. Yeah, like this is. I'm just drinking a beer. Like Mm -hmm. (coughs) you can definitely tell it's a wheat ale. Mm -hmm. Um, But flavor wise, like to me, there's nothing, nothing there at all with this. Not not saying that in a bad way, like meaning it's bad, but to me it just tastes like just drinking a beer. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. just, you know what I mean. For, for like a regular, that, yeah, like a regular regular wheat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like for for something that's a blueberry ale, you're expecting the blueberry taste, <laughs> blueberry taste, and I'm not getting anything at all. I'm just mm-hmm. drinking a wheat ale, like you said. So for that, for a lack of lack of uh, flavor, I, I, I'm going to go with. Uh, yeah, I would say- I, I'll go. I'll go two and a half because it's not a bad ale. Like mm-hmm. it, it's not a bad ale. I would drink this because it's a it's a decent tasting beer, but not. There's no blueberry in this for me at yeah. all. I was expecting this to be more like a bumbleberry. That's probably my favorite blueberry beer, and it's nowhere near that. I'll give it a one point five. I'm not crazy about it. To me, blueberry is trash as a flavor. And a, what? And a fruit. Uh, what? And a fruit. Come on yes. now, man. Come on. Man. The only good blueberry is a little chunks in Jiff Mix. But, um, <laughs> and what? <laughs> in Jiffy Mix. Pancake Mix. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is drinkable. I don't know if there was a hint of blueberry or anything, but I can drink another one. I give it a two and a half. It's drinkable. It's not. I don't. I'm picking up the blueberry. Oh, you're the only one that's getting a hint. Away. I'm not getting shit. A slight hint. Yeah, it's not just necessarily just a typical weed ale. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit. It's not strong. But enough that I'm actually able to taste it. But it's a basic weed ale. Like I don't think the, the weed ale itself is anything special. I give it a I'll give it a two. Alright. Well uh if you're out, you want to try it, pick it mm-hmm. up, let us know what you think. Um, like I said, I, I'll drink it just because it's a like it's just a decent tasting beer. It's like I'm not over the moon with it or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I did want to uh, announce I saw um, Mountain Dew is coming out with a line of hard Mountain Dew flavors, which will be arriving next year. Don't know if I'll drink these um not a big fan of mountain dew but they'll have uh zero sugar hard mountain dew which looks to be just like the regular mountain dew flavor like the pop uh, they'll have a black cherry and a watermelon both of which are also zero sugar um and it looks to be is that five percent alcohol or five percent alcohol for all three of those they just said uh next year no time date or anything just, yeah, just arriving sometime next year. Um, okay. All right. Yeah. 
So uh -huh. zero sugars, uh, you know, that's but it just says early 22. Okay. So I would, I would say probably sometime before spring, you would you yeah. know, get the, the launch of that. Um, so there you go. A little uh, breaking. Uh, also the rock announced um, another brand to the Terramana tequila line. Um, and I forget, I forget what the, the I forget what they're calling that one. Yeah, that's but what we do out in October. Yeah, so um, it's ready. It's it's there. Uh, we'll, we'll have the we'll drink of the week coming soon. <laughs> we will <laughs> try that when we find it. <laughs> yeah, we'll try that one just like we reviewed the other uh, Terramana tequilas on this show. So, um, anything else from anybody on this Ellicott Bill Blueberry Weed Ale before we wrap up the segment? No. All right. With that, as always, we ask that you raise your bottles, cans, red and blue solo cups, brown paper bags, shot glasses, whatever you're drinking with us this week, and to good ships and wood ships and ships that sail the seas. The best ships are friendships, and friends will always be.